Hello ROS developers and welcome to the ROS questions and answers video series. If you want to learn anything about ROS, this is your channel. ROS navigation, ROS with drones, ROS for autonomous cars, everything ROS is here. Learn ROS step by step and push your ROS learning in just 10 minutes of video. I am Alberto and today we are going to be checking one question I found in the ROS answers forum, which is this one. How to make TurtleBot rotate left and right? It's an easy question, so we are going to be answering this and showing how to do this very very quickly. But before anything else, remember to visit our Robot Ignite Academy, our online academy where you will find practical online ROS courses using simulated robots, no installation required. You will find a link to the academy on the video description. Now yes, let's start with the question, so let's close all this. And we are going to open RDS, as always, to solve this question. And this user, Kai, says I am currently using Ubuntu 14.04. The only way I can move my TurtleBot is by using ROS Launch TurtleBot Bring Up Minimal.Launch and ROS Launch TurtleBot Teleop Keyboard Teleop dot Launch to move my TurtleBot via keyboard. Okay, so he says the only way to move his TurtleBot is using the keyboard Teleop node. Uh, in order to control it with the keyboard. And he asks, how should I make my TurtleBot rotate left and right by its zone by running the Python file? Sorry for my poor English, please help me if you know the answer. Thanks. Okay, so... So yeah, let's come here and let's create a new project. Let's call it move TurtleBot create it and let's open it. There we are. So let's open our project and wait uh, a few seconds until the world environment loads. And then what we are going to do is to basically create a, a very simple script in Python since he's talking about Python. A very simple script in Python that basically rotates the robot to the left or to the right. Okay, so here we are, excellent. Let's close all this. Are we are going to open a shell and an IDE to start with. There we go. So the first thing will be to basically create a package where we will place our code. So let's go to the Catkin workspace and let's create a package. Let's call it, I don't know, move or rotate TurtleBot. TurtleBot and let's add Rospy as a dependency. There we are. So now we have our package here. And in here, let's create a code, let's say rotate.py. And let's make sure that it has execution permissions. In my case, I'm going to give the rotate.py file execution permissions with the following command so that I can execute it later with Rosran. So yeah, as you can see, it turns to green color. Great, so yeah, let's create our very simple script. So basically here, let's set up the Python environment, first of all. Then I'm going to import Rospy. And I'm going to import from the geometry messages package. I'm going to import the twist message. There we are. So now let's initiate our node. Rotate turtle bot. Okay, then let's create our message. Also, we will need to create our a publisher element. We are going to be publishing into the command bell topic. 
as you may already know, this topic is used to to send um, movement messages to to many robots, in this case to the Turtlebot. So let me do one thing. Let me start a Turtlebot simulation so that we have it here running very quickly. Okay. And then we'll continue with the code. Okay, there it is. Tatterbot robot loaded. Great. Then, yeah, now here, if we do a ROS topic list, we will have many, many topics. Topics for the camera, for the laser as well. Here. And then we have this command bell topic, which is the topic we use in order to send commands to the motor of the turtle body, yeah? so to move it. Then, yeah, we will need to... Here we are. So in this pub variable, we are going to create a ROS publisher, which will publish into the command bell topic, and it will use twist type messages. Yeah, so we are done here. Then what we need to do is to fill this tweet mes twist message. And the structure of the twist message, as you may already know as well, is also very simple. You have linear XYZ and angular XYZ. In this case, for if we want to move the robot forward, for instance, then we will use the linear X. If we want to rotate the robot, then we will use the angular Z. Yes? So let's here set... Rot. angular z, let's set it to 0 0.5, per, for instance. Then now let's create a loop so that we can publish this message continuously. So while not Rospy is shut down, we are going to publish this rot message into the command bell topic. Then let's as well here very quick create a rate spy dot rate of I don't know one hertz let's say and this is basically in order to control here the speed the frequency, the frequency of these, of this while loop. Oop, what is this? Cancel, cancel. Okay, so yeah, now I just add the slip here inside the loop. And let's test it. Let's test this code. So, ROS1 uh, rotate turtlebot rotate.py and as you can see our robot <clears throat> just starts to rotate yeah turning to his left so if we wanted to make it now rotate to the other side we can just change here the value <clears throat> the sign of the angular z and it will start rotating to the other side. As you can see now, it is rotating uh, clockwise. Yeah, so... Yeah, basically this is it. Um, if, you, if you want to stop it, you will have to put it to zero. Okay, you can, you can, of course, create a... Um, uh, you can uh, add to this code something for handle the shutdown signal, for instance, or to stop the robot on, on shutdown or whatever. Yeah, here, this is just a very quick example I wanted to show to, to show how to rotate the robot. Let's stop it. There we are. 
but you can add whatever you want uh, to this code, of course. So yeah, in the description of the video, you will find a complete course about ROS in Python, so how to learn all the ROS basics using Python. And also all the resources mentioned in the video. And if you like the if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to our channel and press the bell for a new video every day. Either you like it or not, please share your thoughts and questions in the comments area. Goodbye.